Ranking the best free safeties in Madden 23. We are back here with another tier list update. Today we're going to be covering free safety. Now right before we do go on ahead, re-rank the old cards and rank the new cards, I do want to go ahead and shout out the comment of the day. Now let's take a look at the old tier list real quick. And I'm going to be honest, I think from Chad Johnson over, everyone comes down. I think Ronnie Lott, Julius Peppers, Chad Johnson all have justification for still being S tier. And then Ed Reed over is going to be the uh, new A tier. Chad Johnson with that universal coverage for two might seem like a lot of ap but with all the double zeros that are going around now with the rookie premieres i think you can easily justify running chad johnson and this is what the tiered list is looking like right now julius pepper still an s tier user no matter what and ronnie lot is still up here with the zero ap inside shade i believe he is the only one out of all the free safeties even the one we're going to cover today that gets that for zero ap now the first card we got today is a slightly lower overall we got earl campbell at free safety out of position so can't be up to 99 speed sugar rush track card will get him up to 98 he can be 99 xl though play rec is pretty solid he's 511 232 96 man 96 zone 85 press block shed impact blocking all pretty solid like the stats aren't the issue with the card big hitter on yes play ball in air balance we're looking for play ball in air aggressive and this time for his abilities he can go ahead and get acrobat deep out zone ko pick artist and secure tackler for zero i like to secure tackler for zero a lot because with all the aka x factors that you go up against being in certain defenses like dollar where he can be a sub linebacker or one of your slot CBs that blitzes can really help you stop the run. But also if you're in a defense, say like 3-3 to 3-3 Cub, him being one of your outside linebackers that occasionally blitzes can also help you stop those AKA X factors really, really nice. So I like this card a lot. I think he's kind of similar to Trey Lance, which this might be like a weird take, but I'm putting him right by Trey Lance. Uh, for the same reason that I like Trey Lance, I like Earl Campbell. Trey Lance has been one of my best cards ever since I picked him up. I really like this Earl Campbell card. Again, same thoughts as Trey Lance. Now we get Julian Blackman right here. I know this card's main purpose is just getting rookie premieres. He has great physical stats across the board. Play rec a little bit low with 93, but man and zone hit the thresholds. Blockchain and impact blocking aren't good. So this isn't a card I'd play in the box. I would play him over the top and he's six foot 187 a little bit light too he's just screaming again play me over the top no big hitter on yes but he does have play ball on air aggressive so literally everything about the card right now play him over the top from an ability standpoint he can get deep out zone KO mid zone pick artist and acrobat all for zero AP I don't think he's in the S tier or anything but I think he is really really solid I ah, he's kind of like right here for me do I think he's as good as Justin Simmons Hmm, this is tough. Do I think he's more along the lines like Xavier McKinney or Justin Simmons? Because I'm a big time fan of the Justin Simmons card. Adrian Phillips being right here too. I think Adrian Phillips is slightly better than him, but he's like kind of like right here in my opinion. So I'm going to lean him just being top into B. Um, I like Adrian Phillips. I like Justin Simmons. I like Ed Reed a lot more than him. I'm not necessarily comparing him to Trey Lance and Earl Campbell because these two cards do different things compared to him. I don't know if this is a bad take, but I feel like this card right here is the most underrated card in the game golden ticket tyron matthew i really don't see a lot of them and he has great physical stats the thing with tyron that people hate is the fact that he's 5'9 but the way i think he makes up for this 99 play rec is insane 99 play rec is amazing Z man zone press awesome 99 block shed as well and for traits obviously no big hitter but he does have play ball and air aggressive and from an ability standpoint he does get two zero ones so he can go ahead and get deep out zone ko for zero and secure tackler for zero i think with that secure tackler he can play in the box he can also play over the top as well overall he is a great card that you just don't really see a lot he is going to be someone that he is going to be someone that is going to be in this S tier for me. I really, really like him. I think he's a better coverage player than, say, like Julius Peppers. I think he's a, a better coverage player than Julius Peppers. Julius Peppers, a better user. Chad Johnson with that universal, obviously going to be like top into this tier. But also him first, like Ronnie Lott, it's really like man versus zone. If you run man, I'd run Ronnie Lott. If you run zone, I'd run Tyron Matthew. Now, if you run hybrid, I'd probably lean Lott. But Tyron Matthew, like I said, is, is a great card. I just think he is severely underrated. Right after that, we get Thomas Davis Sr. So he can be 99 speed 99 excel i'm glad they gave him a free safety upgrade and not an outside linebacker upgrade has great play rec he's six foot one 235 athlete arc the whole mold breaker program with the arcs i think is a little bit dumb because i don't really think it did anything but man zone press is amazing block shit impact blocking phenomenal and for traits big hitter on yes and play ball air aggressive now from an ability standpoint he's just kind of like regular i guess i would say he doesn't get double zero abilities but he can get deep out zone ko enforcer pick artist or acrobat four zero i 
think he's really, really solid in a zone based scheme, deep out zone KO mid zone for one, or if you just want to use her pick artist for zero, I think he is solid. I don't think Thomas Davis is like the best card in the game or anything, but he is going to be a tier for me. I would say he's kind of like more bottom end of a, in my opinion, but I think he's pretty good. I don't think he's like, like I said, I don't think he's the best free safety in the game, but I think he's usable. And now right after that, we get golden ticket. Hello, Dinata. I've said this, I think countless times, but every time I see this card, I think it's the defensive tackle. I don't know why, but he's a free safety. Can be 99 speed, 99 Excel, 99 play rec as well. Man zone press. Amazing. Has 99 spec catch too. Okay. Block shed impact walking again. Phenomenal. Perfect. This stats are essentially perfect uh six foot four 340 he is a big boy and if we look at his traits no big hitter i kind of find that a little bit surprising but has play ball and air aggressive and two password traits on yes something i like to do at times is, is look at his max ratings because what is a little bit interesting is the fact that he has 96 power moves and 76 finesse moves and you might be like dill why is that important for certain defenses say you run three three to three three cub and he occasionally blitzes he in theory should be better at rushing the passer than someone that doesn't have these ratings on obviously. So I think he's great for that defense. Pick artist and tackle supreme for zero. Think he is a great user. Think he is a great in the box player. I think he is a tier better than Trey Lance and also uh, Earl Campbell. I think what he does, what they would do just better. I think he does what Earl Campbell and Trey Lance would do just better. So he's going to be S tier for me. And for the final card of the video, we got Jay Ward rookie premier. Can be 99 speed, 99 XL. Physical stats are great. Play rec is also great. Kind of surprised they gave a uh, good play rec on a rookie premier card. Hard. Man zone hit the thresholds. Block shed impact blocking, not great, but six foot one run support arc. Doesn't have big hitter trade on yes and has play ball and air balance, which we don't like to see. But if we take a look at his abilities, the reason why he's special is because he gets double zero ones. I think he is the absolute just perfect free safety for a hybrid based defense. Can get deep out zone KO and medium route KO for zero, and then you can stack a deep route KO on top of that for one AP. That is the stack I run on him. I think he is absolutely amazing. So there's no doubt about it for me. Jay Ward is going to be top end of S tier for me. And where you have people ranked in S tier, I think it is dependent on your defense. Chad, just if you can fit the universal, I think he's the best no matter what. If you run hybrid, Jay Ward is great. If you run strictly man, I'd go Ronnie Lott. If you're looking for a user, I'd go Julius Peppers or potentially Aloni And then Tyron Matthew is just kind of like, I don't want to say a worse version of Jay Ward, but he can also run hybrid and he can also help you stop the AKAs. But yeah, y'all, this has been my updated free safety tier list in Madden 23. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with the best cards in Madden. In. Now, if you guys want to see me use some of these cards live, check the links in the description, hit that Twitch to follow. We have been grinding the streams over there, so I would greatly appreciate that. Now, if you don't feel like heading over to Twitch and you want another video to watch, check this one out right here. I rank the best strong safeties in Madden 23.